that. But I wanted to show you today uh, the electronics part of the cube. Uh, this is my workstation in my garage. And uh, these are the boards uh, that actually control the, uh, each panel in the LED cube. Uh, one of these for each panel. And I have two of them here on my bench. I'm doing a little tr troubleshooting today on uh, the communications portion, the part that uh, allows the com computer to talk to the cube. And uh, I have uh, uh, some wires connected together uh, to connect these together uh, uh, just as they would be in the cube. We use an RS-45 interface. But I want to show you a little bit about each board and uh, describe how it works and how, it, how we put it together. I designed this board as a shield. Uh, actually, that's the term. Uh, Arduino uses the shield uh, terminology for things that you add on to an Arduino. I have an Arduino right here, actually. Uh, and this is a Mega 2560, uh, the model that we chose. Uh, it runs the power, sort of the power plant for our, our LED cube. There's one per panel. Um, and I'll explain a little bit later uh, why we chose this particular model. But um, our board uh, was designed to attach to the Arduino. And you can kind of see it on the back here. It's attached to the back side of our board. And I did that so I could uh, free up board space on the front uh, for electronics here. So, uh, so anyway, a little tour of the board itself. Uh, I'll start here at this uh, dip switch here. We have an, uh, an ability to set an address for each one of them. That's uh, for uh, capability of communicating with each individual board uh, through an addressing scheme that, uh, that I developed. Uh, we use an RS-45 interface, as I said before, and uh, it has an addressable uh, bus interface. So uh, that's uh, how we set the, the panel address for each one. And this section here, there, there are actually three identical sections. Uh, these are uh, columns like multiplexers, one for each color. Uh, the cube, as, a, as we said before, is a RGB uh, LED cube. RGB stands for red, green, and blue. Uh, so we have three colors in the LEDs in order to mix to get the colors that we generate there. And so I have a multiplexer for each one. And uh, these sections select uh, the cathode side of our common anode uh, LEDs. And each one has a, a little header here with our current limiting resistors and a header. And a ribbon cable will connect here when, once it's installed in the cube and it'll connect to each of the colors, um, the cathodes, as I said, on the LEDs. Uh, the last, the other section over here is for column select. It's the, it's actually drives the high side, the positive side, uh, the anodes, if you will, of the LEDs. So we've got the cathode multiplexer and an anode multiplexer. Uh, and with that, we can address up to 256 LEDs with this particular board individually in a multiplexed architecture. So uh, only four LEDs are ever actually illuminated at the same time. But they, it happens so quickly that uh, it appears that all the LEDs are, uh, are on simultaneously uh, due to our multiplexing. Now we have a little board here, and this is an add-on board. This is actually what I'm troubleshooting today. This is an RS-485 interface. It's a plug-in module. Uh, we developed this architecture with uh, multiple plug-in uh, module capabilities. So we can have RS-232 interface, uh, RS-485, I2C, um, even a wireless interface. In fact, I have a couple of my other modules here. This one is a XB uh, a wireless module adapter. So we put an XB, uh, this is a Series 1 uh, XB module. So we can do wireless communications from our control PC uh, to the cube, and then it'll be translated to RS-45 inside the, inside the cabinet, the, the cube cabinet. And uh, this is just another one of our RS-45 interfaces, a little close-up view of it. A couple of options on there. This, is, this, uh, this module has automatic uh, transmit select. And uh, so we don't have to worry about that with our with our Arduino. All we have to do with the with our microcontroller is uh, transmit and receive. We don't have to do any control. There's no control sequence required whatsoever with this module. So the way this is set up here on my on my bench here is we have uh, the two boards are connected by wires just like they would be in the cube. Uh, actually, RS45 is a three wire interface. There's a ground that connects them together, a common ground. And then there are two wires, uh, an A and a B balanced interface. So they're only connected together by those uh, RS-45 wires at the moment. And we also have the USB cable, 
which connects to a to a hub. So both of them are connected to the same hub. Then that connects into my laptop over here, and that's how I program the Arduinos uh, with our uh, operational code, and also how uh, how I control the modules once they're actually in operation. So that's the electronics portion of our LED cube. Hope you enjoyed this video.